So let's start off with your initial impression when you saw this backstage footage. Denise, I want to start out by saying I'm old school. I've been watching pro wrestling since probably 1992. I've loved this business for a long time. I've been in ba- I've been backstage. I've been in a wrestling match. I've done I've done it, you guys. I've seen the worst situations. I've seen the best situations. I've seen everything. Coming into all of this uh, brawl out, every situation, I've always been, this is pro wrestling. All of this is so pro wrestling and on the line. So why are we so up in arms about this? Immediately after watching this video, my brain said, that was the most pro wrestling thing I've ever seen in my fucking life. Why are we arguing about this? We need to be making money off of this. Denise, there's a wrestling show that people love called Dark Side of the Ring that is filled with moments like this. I'm I'm talking about legit almost every single episode they're like, and then at one point backstage, blah, 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 I got in a fight with blah, blah, blah. We broke it up. And then afterwards we had beers. This is just so pro wrestling and on the line that that's all I can feel about it. Like I know there's a bunch of stuff personally that people have attached to this i have no personal anything to do so when i watched i was like this is just pro wrestling like if this if they were like this isn't real this isn't anything th- we're about to show a video i'm like oh yeah that's a cool pro wrestling video this is all feels so pro wrestling to me so when everyone is just like ah this is crazy i'm like pro wrestling a pro wrestling thing just happened two co-workers fault it's different there's like assault there's blah 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 yes i agree in every other profession if you're in an office drinking coffee and you run up on your homeboy and you guys start squabbling, yo, start getting lawsuits and blah, blah, blah. You're backstage at a Madonna concert and you see another one of your uh, backup dancers. You're like, I'm going to fuck this bitch up. You can't. You're crazy. They're backstage at something that is built. This business is built off of this shit. It's built off of exactly what we saw here. So what's the problem, you guys? Why are we up in arms about this? This is so pro wrestling that I can't help to feel anything beyond that. Now, I know this is crazy, Denise, for a wrestling company to essentially show someone that's on another TV show, another wrestling company at the forefront. He just was in in front of 70,000 people, and they were all chanting his name. And I didn't come out of this thinking, CM Punk is uh whatever they thought. I think I was like, oh, that's funny. That fool was wild in backstage. He attacked Jack. Like, yo, that's crazy. Like, I don't think like I don't think anybody's lives are in danger. That's just me as someone that's seen people die. I don't think anybody's lives are in danger. It's just like this is pro wrestling, you guys. What's going on here? But that's just me. How did you feel initially off of it, Denise? So when I watched the video, my thoughts were. Wow, I was expecting so much more. I was expecting to be appalled by CM Punk's actions. And I think that's where I wasn't necessarily as appalled, you know? And I know people are going to be like, of course, it's not okay to go up, like you said, to your coworker and Mm -hmm. punch them or anything like that. And I want to say, first and foremost, I do not agree with, you know, uh, just going up to someone and having this fight, of course, right? That's totally not it. And I get it. But we already knew that part. We already knew that part that CM Punk went after Jack Perry because Jack Perry was essentially running his mouth, right? Yeah. And truth be told, sometimes, and people are going to disagree on this, and I understand, sometimes people are going to run their mouth and you're going to want to get physical because it's human nature. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, no, that's a monster. And I get it. I get it. But there are fights occurring every single day. In multiple places, bro. To me, how do I say this? I've seen big, bigger, more extreme fights at the freaking local Target. Okay. Yeah. (laughs) Between two soccer moms. I've seen two soccer moms tear a Target up. This was like nothing. That's why I'm like, I, I don't know. Everyone here that went to like public school probably saw two girls throw down way worse than what you saw here today between CM Punk and Jack Perry. I'm I talking- saw two young girls fight, fight, fight. One of her girls got her weave whipped out and the other girls was swinging her weave around the school 
in victory. I was like, this is the craziest thing I've ever seen. And this is in high school, you guys. These are high school children that are doing this. That's what the game is like. This is California going up, maybe. People are probably like, where, where school did these people go to? It felt like regular life to me. And so with that being said, when I watched this, my thought was this was a high school fight. It was. Someone said some shit. Someone didn't like it. Someone handled it in a way that they felt was best for them to handle it. And that was it. That was that. Now, I'm looking at this and I went into this thinking that I was going to come out of it thinking that CM Punk was the worst person ever. And I did not come out thinking that. And part of the reason is like, I thought that that was going to happen because my mind was, okay, if AEW is airing this, they are uber confident, super confident that CM Punk is going to look really bad in this. So I'm thinking, mm -hmm. okay, they wouldn't air it if, it if it didn't mean he looked horrible in it. And then I just thought, that's it? The only thing that I can say here is, okay, CM Punk should not have attacked him. Okay, fine. But again, shit happens. People shit happens. get in fights all mm -hmm. the time, all around the world, even yeah. at work, bro. All the time. It yeah. happens. Sometimes I've people get in. Yeah, I've seen people get in fights at work, too, and then they just kind of come back. It's just like, yo, this happens. Testosterone. That's crazy. It's pro wrestling, the biggest event of the year. There's people over here. Small Joe's getting warmed up. Hook's getting warmed up. There's a lot of stuff happening. So it's just like, uh, I just don't really get why. Now, what are the ramifications out of this, Denise? Some people are saying that this is bad for AEW to play this. Uh, uh, not the right move, ratings ploy. What do you think are the ramifications out of playing this video? So going into watching this video, I was so excited. I was like, let's go. I love the chaos. I'm here for it, right? Like if this is going to be something that is so freaking entertaining, that's going to shine some crazy light on whoever, right? I was ready for it. Coming out of it, coming out of AEW today, I can honestly say, I don't think they should have played the clip. Now, I say that for their purpose. For me, oh, are you kidding me? I love to watch this stuff. I still like, you know, for, for the entertainment standpoint of, you know, when you're driving, when you're driving down the street, I feel like the car crash is the most best scenario to explain this. So you're driving down the street, you see a car crash, you're going to turn and you're going to be like, God damn, like, you know, that sucks. There's a car crash, but you're still going to look. And that was the situation today with the CM Punk click. Like, I'm still going to look. But do I want it to happen? Of course not. Why? Because, you know, you don't want bad stuff to happen. But with this being said, for specifically for AEW, I don't think they benefited from this at all. And part of me had hoped, like, oh, maybe, I don't know, depending on the video, they'll benefit from this. I don't think they did. And seeing the discourse around it on social media I feel really bad, Reg, because I'm an AEW fan. I support AEW. I will continue to support AEW off of this. But it's not a good look right now for the company in terms of nothing came out of this that made me say, oh, man, I'm so glad CM Punk's out the effing door. In fact, nothing, now I'm thinking, Denise. Well, maybe he snapped. Okay, he snapped. No, no, no. Not, I'm like, forget about CM Punk. I'm like, okay. nothing came out of this. Like the FT, like after FTR came and talked, you weren't, you were just like, you didn't care. Well, when FTR did come out, they made some good points. They kind of, I think, addressed the other side of this argument where they did address like, why are you guys rolling a clip from like eight months ago? So I did like that portion, and I like that they presented this from the other side. But like, did it make you want to see that though. match? Did it make you want to see that match more? No. 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 It didn't I make think you I'm, I'm, see about, the I'm about it the same because I was already looking forward to the Young Bucks and FTR. I was already looking forward right. to it because I'm like, oh, I know it's going to be a good match, and that's what I was looking forward to. That's fair. But in that's terms fair. of the story, do am I more interested now? No, because I was already interested. So this did nothing for you, is what you're saying. Well, I wouldn't say nothing. Maybe, okay, fine. On a zero to a hundred, maybe like a 10%. Add an extra 10%. That's not bad. I Is that bad? No, 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 no. I mean, uh, you, I, I, I don't know. I, I felt like afterwards... Who knows, man? What 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 is what is shouldn't have and should have played? Like, I feel like if they had played this video, the dynamite immediately after all in, it would hit different. 
But again, pro wrestling. I liked it. So chaos, terrible. Listen, are you happy? Are you, do you think it was a good idea for them to roll the tape? Because right I- now, I, I'm on a no. I'm on a no. I don't think it was a good idea to roll the tape following what we saw. I'm on a, I'm going to take bad publicity here is good publicity. So I'm with it. Like if this garnered up somebody <laughs> wanting to watch dynamite, a dynasty, if this garnered up, there were people tuned in that to the AEW. They're like, I've never watched a show in my life. I'm not blah, blah, blah. When are they playing this? I want to see this that watched it. So, I mean, that worked. Who knows if it'll work in the long run? Who knows if anything is anything, but for today, it did what it did. It was what it is. And you guys, like, I just don't have anything personal attached to any of this. So it's just like, I, it's all wrestling. The Young Bucks coming into the video, it's just silly work and, and, and acting heel, heel work. I'm like, it all feels on the line for me. But if you feel on the other side, like, I get it. So my next question. So the part there where you where we saw CM Punk, basically he said on the, on the MMA hour that he had told Tony Khan that he was a clown and that he quit there. So from what you just said right now, like that was supposedly the moment in which Tony Khan feared for his life. Yeah. I find uh, even having seen the footage, I find it hard to believe that someone feared for their life during that. And I don't want to just be like, I don't want to be rude or a jerk, right? Because if someone fears for their life, who am I to say, no, you're wrong, right? Because if someone fears for their life, they fear for their life. Yeah. However, I nearly got my face licked on Hollywood Boulevard one time by some crazy maniac who cornered me against the wall, put his fist up against the wall, and tried licking my face. And I feared for my life that day. Denise. <laughs> okay. Denise. Denise. So Denise, that's what I'm Denise. saying. It was more extreme. Denise, how much money do you have? What do you mean on ca- on me right now? Like cash zero ever. and in the history of your life, my whole life. Altogether? How much money have you ever had in your whole life? I don't know. Like not that much. I Oh, I know what you're saying here. I'm not in the same tax bracket. No, how much money has Tony Khan had in his life? A lot. He's a billionaire's kid. Right. His life is way different than ours is. I can't say and I can't be like, well, I did this even earlier when I was like, well, I've seen this. I that's way different than what he's experienced. Like these are what like if he feared for us, he probably did. He's a billionaire's kid. I've never had. I'm a billionaire. No one's ever lunged at me. Well, like, what you know what I mean? So that's where you have to look at it. We can't yeah, look at it right. from, from our perspective because I got thirteen dollars in my bank right now. It's way <laughs> like we're on different <laughs> spectres right here. You know? Yes, it is true though, honestly, because and I think sometimes it's hard because it really is hard for me. It's really hard for me to see that video and say, "Oh, I agree that he feared for his life." It's very hard for me to say that because again, I, I feel like I've just seen worse for other people have experienced worse. And it's just, I don't know. It's very hard to believe that he feared for his life there. But again, I feel bad saying that because I feel like you can't say that for somebody else. If they feared for their life, I'm going to believe them because I don't know what their thoughts are inside their head. I'm not inside their mind, but you're right. We sometimes forget that growing up as a billionaire is going to have a different outlook on life. Yeah, it's just dip like you the experiences that he's had and the experience that we had were way different. So if he did, he might like uh, dude, that's crazy that you're having the biggest wrestling show ever in history. You're at the table about to get into the first match with the guy, and the guy comes in here with some crazy energy. He starts throwing hands or whatever you think happened, and then he's like, ah, you know, he doesn't like his brain is probably not even processing him saying, You're a clown, this is blah blah blah. His brain is like, Well, 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 this guy's trying to kill me. Like, so I'm not making excuses for anything. I don't know anything, but I'm thinking of it if I was a billionaire, dude. If I was a billion, I got a hundred dollars right now, and I'll be like, yo, you all, but if I was a billionaire and some guy comes and he's trying to ruin the biggest show of my life, because that's all I'm thinking. I'm not thinking. Baba, I'm thinking my I'm we're doing the biggest show of our lives, dude. This shit is going down right now, and you're up here fighting. What the fuck's going on? And then he comes at me. Yo, he was trying to kill me. I don't like <laughs> that's we can't, you know, we right. can't put on with us to that. So that's it. Right. So yeah, no, I, I do think you make a fair point on that in regards to uh, you know, how different Tony Khan might have perceived 
CM Punk's actions versus how we perceived CM yes. Punk's actions. Exactly. Now, so with that being said, so we talk about this different perception of whether or not he was justified to fear for his life, right? Yeah. Okay. This led to CM Punk being terminated from AEW. CM Punk, who for several years we did not actually think was going to come back to pro wrestling, comes back to pro wrestling to this new company that didn't even exist when he was in WWE when the whole drama with them happened. And so then, you know, he's back. We're like, oh, my God, hallelujah, a miracle. This is great. He said he was never going to come back to pro wrestling, yet here he is. So not only that, but you also have him come in, and he is a pretty damn big draw for AEW, okay? Right. You can argue maybe even their biggest. OK, numbers. So with that being said, based off what we saw here today, did that really justify just like everything like them terminating him? I know that CM Punk quit, but it's like, I don't know. It's kind of a mess. I mean, if you look at it in the perspective of let's forget all the stuff that I said about this being pro wrestling and we're just running a business and we're doing, again, doing the biggest show of all time. And a wrestler you lunges at me. I have no choice, Denise. I'm the boss. And that fool lunges at me. It's a worse, it's a worse thing on the company if he lunged at me and then he stays. And he could just, let, what does that show the rest of the company? This fool lunged at me and I let him stay? No. You lunged at me, you're gone. You lose. Oh, you quit? No, you lunged at me. You quit me the second you came at me, bro. Like, that's what you have to think about. Like, it is pro wrestling. It is all this. But Tony ain't in. He's not a wrestler. He's not in the locker room. He's not in this fight. And you went after him. And as a business and as a, you know, what this is, you got to let him go. That's what had to happen. Now, should uh, ramifications and all this, he's over there. A lot of crazy stuff's happening. But he had to be gone. If you're lunging at me, no matter who you are, you're out of here, dude. That's just how life is, you know? Right, right. Because I look at this and I'm like, damn, it really sucks that, first of all, this happened and that CM Punk, who was doing such great business for AEW, that this played out the way that it did, right? Because obviously yeah. in a perfect world with rainbows and stars and all of that, we would have loved to see CM Punk stick around in AEW and actually have his AEW championship reign, actually help this company get to higher levels than, than it has before. You know, I, I wanted to see CM Punk stay with AEW and truly help the company get Definitely. to that next level. So it is unfortunate that, these things happened that led to this and led to the frustration and led to him quitting and led to this whole, you know, taunting see, Tony Khan fearing for his life because Reg, you and I were in those exact same press rooms. You and mm -hmm. I sat through at least five or six CM Punk media scrums in which you, my friend, made CM Punk cry. And yeah. he was so freaking happy with uh with pro wrestling in general. He, Denise, about he was he crying did. because of what Tony did. He's like, this guy did this for me that was the that was the reason for the tears <laughs> yes and i remember being um at the press conference remember when uh i forgot what eric bischoff had said about uh cm punk and mm. tony khan went on like a three minute rant defending yeah. cm punk mm -hmm. and so i look back and i think about how cm punk fell in love with the business again through AEW. i look back at the way that cm uh tony khan defended him i look back at just their overall engagement together and i'm like kind of bummed that it all went to the shits you know yeah i think denise because like like you said there was moments as wrestling fans where we're like this guy's never going to come back to wrestling like no matter for any promotion he's just like content blah 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 then you start hearing rumblings and then you're like wait he is actually going to come to AEW, and there was some feeling you know what i mean those feelings were restored there was big house that first dance show is insane like i watch that all the time that return like it changed stuff and like the energy around when he was around. I liked it. I thought it was really good energy for AEW. What eventually happened, I think was unfortunate, but I, like you said, I just kind of wished it all would have worked out. Cause I just liked uh, everything that was going on with it. And the backstage politics just became too much. And it's just really unfortunate. Yeah. I really wish that truth be told, I wish that it would never have gotten to this level. I wish that there would have been, I guess that more of that corporate structure yeah. to prevent stuff like this, to prevent, because if you're an employee, Reg, in mm -hmm. any job, 
if you're an employee and you have frustrations with another coworker, you want there to be someone or some group of people that can help facilitate and manage that. And when that doesn't happen, it does cause frustration. Mm-hmm. So you don't want to get to that. But of course, in pro wrestling and throughout this whole entire time, like that's the thing, though, like all these companies have dramas. There's dramas we don't even know about going on backstage in all promotions. Um, the we issue, just Denise, seen the, stuff. the issue, Denise, is, is you have all these problems and it could just be a backstage thing and we could not talk about it. But there's all these rumors. There's dirt sheets. There's blah, blah, blah. But the worst part of it all is they hand these guys that are disgruntled a live microphone. They're just like, here, go outside and talk. We want you to talk about this, but like in CM Punk situation, Hangman, but there's all these guys that can like, I'm out here with a mi- live microphone. I could say whatever I want. I could throw a curve ball into this whole situation. And there was a whole bunch of times where things like that happened that were kind of like, I felt like the office was in play. Office was trying to handle it, but it was like those extracurricular things. Like no matter what I do, I'm not going to be able to handle those situations. And it's just so unfortunate. This tape play, Denise, that was a thing though. Remember when they announced it on Saturday, people were like, it's probably going to be a skit. It's probably going to be this. It's probably going to be this, but they really, really played it. And if anything, if it's bad or goodwill that comes out of this, them saying something and delivering on something, I think is worth something. Yeah, I was going to say, a lot of people thought this was going to be a bait and switch, and then they weren't actually going to show the tape. I didn't feel that way. I felt like they were going to show the tape from the very the beginning because yeah. they don't they do not do that. Like, AEW, yeah. say what you want about them, but when they say, oh, we're going to do something, they actually really do do it, all right? Whether or not it was the right thing to do, that's up to everybody, and everybody here is going to have a different opinion on this. Damn, Reg, you and I, we have sort of different opinions do, on this. Denise. I was going to say, you're like, cool, roll the tape. And I'm here like, damn, maybe they shouldn't have rolled the tape. No, I I respected everything, though, because, like, there's so many angles to this, Denise. There's so much business around it. Like, again, he's gone. He's over there. He's making money for them. And uh, 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 immediately after when the Young Bucks and and FTR are doing the thing, the crowd's chanting for CM Punk, Denise. Yes, there were CM Punk chants. So it's like, I don't know. So, look, (laughs) point blank, though, I do want to say this right now. It's very hard when you're looking at this because there are going to be people that you like in this and there are going to be people you don't like. You may be sitting here. You may be a bigger Bucks fan. You may be a better, a bigger CM Punk fan. You may be an AEW fan, not a WWE fan or a WWE fan or vice versa. And those, those opinions are going, those, those feelings are going to impact your opinion on that. And also the way that you as a human approach things is going to impact how you feel about this. So everything is just, it's a very controversial 